Before we kick off the fundraiser, inshallah, I'd like to briefly go over um, uh, the proposed uh, expansion project for Masjid Al-Hada, inshallah. So just to begin, the design intent consists of some key points uh, that addresses the current and future needs that uh, uh, Dr. Salim had mentioned for the community. Number one, um, specifically, is circulation. How can, we, how can we create an efficient way of foot traffic circulation between the sisters, the students, and brothers without hindering the concentration of salah and disruption of ongoing classes? And how can we avoid uh, intermingling between the brothers and sisters? If you, um, when you guys are here at Jummah time or even in Taraway once in a while, you'll see there's a lot of uh, foot traffic within the parking lot. The entrances are not... Uh, uh, there's not much of a wayfinding for entrances. They're not as grand or generous enough space uh, to provide for the sisters to, you know, have a comfortable area to lay back in or while they're waiting to pick up the kids or while uh, uh, general traffic is, is flowing through. And I, inshallah, I think that this build, the proposed expansion, will provide that experience. And number two is maximizing area. How can we maximize the most amount of buildable space uh, for the class, with classrooms for both, for both uh, boys and girls? And how can we avoid, uh, uh, and, and as well as uh, the, the prayer space for the sisters. And number three is identity. How can we identify the new building as a masjid? Um, and being a part of this, of this main masjid specifically. You know, as Brother, uh, as, uh, Jabber, uh, Brother Jabber mentioned that um, this current masjid that we're in, that we're sitting in, is almost 100 years old and is a historical building within the Union City community. Um, and the... The design that we're in currently is driven by Spanish colonial design that's, that's been generated almost 100 years ago. Uh, and the city has allowed us to bring in some Islamic contemporary architecture and design, but we need to consider the historical aesthetic and the, the historical arches, the, the small little details that you see within the exterior and the interior. We'll see, we'll still, we still need to incorporate that, inshallah, within the design. And uh, one point, uh, one, one also uh, beneficial point, inshallah, they, the city has also asked us to um, provide a sculptural art piece in the exterior of the building. And inshallah, I think that's a great um, opportunity for us to take advantage of it and to install a minarat, uh, which inshallah will represent the exterior in this site as a, as a masjid. And this is the interior of the sister's entrance. Um, and also the, 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 the staircase that flows through to the, se uh, to the second floor and third floor. And the first floor will primarily be used for a sister's prayer space, wudu area, and should roughly accommodate up to 140 uh, prayer spaces. There are two main entrances on both corners of the building. Um, and one dedicated to the students and, uh, and brothers, and another access for the sisters. And the second floor, inshallah, will be dedicated to classrooms for the various existing and future programs, uh, as well as a library and bookstore. Yeah. So the main entrances, uh, just to call them out, this is uh, the main entrance for the sister's side, which is on this end here is the, the back uh, exit for the, for the parking. And on this end over here is the main entrance where the brothers, the brothers uh, will drive through. Anyone driving through, through the main parking lot, this is where the main entrance is. And this is the second building. Again, so um, inshallah, we'll have, we're proposing to have a, a library bookstore. And this is the second floor, correct. Uh, and we'll have around seven classrooms, all multi-use multi classrooms. They expand from different sizes. And then the third floor, we're, again, we're going to have uh, 10 more classrooms, so totaling uh, 17, 17 multi-use uh, classrooms, inshallah. And inshallah, so, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, we wanted to incorporate a more modern and more contemporary uh, space for the sisters, for the, for the, for the students, um, and... and 
keeping the experience, the environment, you know, bringing something new, inshallah, into, in, into the Masjid al-Huda, specifically uh, dedicated to the sisters, but also for the students. Occasionally, we'll, have, um, exp- we'll also expand on their prayer space to be on the second and third floor, inshallah, as well. We'll have some movable walls where we can, uh, in, in case we need to expand for, uh, for prayer room, inshallah. Progress right now is we are in talks with the city. Uh, we are in progress with uh, city planning. We have signed on civil engineers. We have signed on uh, a structural engineer. Alhamdulillah, uh, we have a team of uh, architectural designers that are, that are still continuously working hard uh, on getting the design uh, officially submitted. And inshallah, I, I believe inshallah we'll have the permits by next Ramadan. And inshallah we'll also have construction bids going out. So um, uh, brothers, with your support, inshallah, we can make this a reality. Jazakallah khair.